stand before you today to endure the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, His Excellency Peter Owe. 2023 general elections, who to vote for? Produced by the Political and Strategy Committee of Christian Association of Nigeria. It is character, competence, capacity, and policies. So guys, after the endorsement by the Muslim clerics in the north, Mr. Peter Obi is also winning the endorsement of the Christian Association of Nigeria. So guys, the Christian Association of Nigeria has come out to endorse Mr. Peter Obi. When you look at the front runners in this election, we all know that Mr. Peter Obi stands out. Mr. Peter Obi stands out. So there is nobody that will not want to vote for Mr. Peter Obi. Honestly, there is no right thinking Nigerian. There is nobody that really wants Nigeria to progress that will not opt for Mr. Peter Obi. But I tell you why this endorsement is different is because the Christian Association said they are looking for somebody that has character. They are not even voting for Mr. Peter Obi just because he's a Christian. They are emphasizing on character. The character we can trust, like Mr. Peter Obi will always say. And that is what the Christian Association is telling the world. They are telling Nigerians and the whole world that they are standing behind Mr. Peter Obi because he has proven to be the only candidate that has character. The only candidate that has track records, the only candidate that has integrity, a man we can trust. So guys, this is what is happening. And I tell you, this is a big win for Mr. Peter Obi. We are just focused on integrity and accountability. It is character, competence, capacity and policies. Character, competence capacity and policy so guys you can see for yourself that mr peter ubi is just that one candidate that everybody is looking at honestly if we really want nigeria to succeed honestly mr peter ubi is the right person so khan sent me to you the christian association of nigeria and they said i should say this to you and we're going to have it on our platforms and and um on our platforms and um, I think I'm going to read it and this one because it is a message from Khan I'm just going to read it and we'll put it on our platforms so that everybody will hear what can set for us to tell the body of Christ 2023 general elections who to vote for produced by the political and strategy committee of Christian Association of Nigeria it is character competence capacity and policies character competence capacity and policies so after we of course after praying we should be able to direct you character the person must fear god honesty and truthfulness respect for the rule of law justice and fairness for all respect for religious and ethnic diversity compassion and discipline clean and credible clean and credible lifestyle no membership of cults no involvement in drugs and witchcraft no fanaticism no relationship to boko or with boko haram or other violent religious groups this is the this is the person we are voting for the kind of person we are voting for so this will be his character competence Quality, quality performance in previous positions, good education sufficient to manage a complex society, <laughs> effective management of human and natural resources, capacity. The person must have the ability to envision transformation, ability to communicate the vision to diverse peoples, ability to effectively execute the vision of transformation, must be in good health, sound mind and physical fitness for the job policies state police must have a, 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 a policy to police this country to have policing proper policing of this country religious neutrality of the Nigerian state 
enforcement of fundamental rights of all Nigerians, restructuring to decentralize governance, equitable and enforceable sharing of executive offices. So the offices must be given to all Nigeria, not a section or his or her section of the country. Hallelujah. Equal ethnic and religious representation in military and security agencies. Self-determination for all Nigerian people. No to Ruga, yes to ranching. Education and free health care to all Nigerians, including Almajiris. No open grazing, rather modernization of animal husbandry. Local control of local economy, including waters, rivers, and forests. Everybody should call to control what God put in their locality. So this is it from Khan. And by the grace of God, God will give us this kind of leader. And I must add, you know I must add my own. We will do what Bishop Abioye said, that we are going to vote this time to defend our faith. We will defend our faith. We will defend our faith. It is not for territory. See, like Monica would always say, that Power is first about spiritual control before physical. It's a control of, see, the whole of Nigeria, these people, they don't care about governance. They want to take control first. They want to take authority, they want to take the country and then do it like they want. But governance is for everyone. So this time around, anybody that has the inclination at all to continue what we have been going through, we are going to say no to that person. Anybody that has the inclination to side one religion over the other, we are going to fight that person. Every Nigerian has the right to worship. To worship, if they want to worship a stone, they want to worship the sun, they want to worship the moon, they want to worship Muhammad, they want to worship Jesus Christ, they want to worship God, what, whoever. The constitution allows everybody that freedom. And this year, by the grace of God, we are going to select that. God forbid that a Christian will take their thumb and print over somebody that is going to restrict our religious freedom. May that person not be named among us in the name of Jesus. So we are going to vote and, put and defend our faith. I have a right to be a Christian and every Muslim in this country has a right to be a Muslim. Every traditional religious person has a right. If you don't even want to believe in God, God gives you the permission not to believe in him. Nobody must curtail those liberties. Amen. We stand before you today to endorse the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, His Excellency Peter Owe. We have carefully evaluated the stances and policies of all the candidates and I have come to the conclusion that His Excellency Peter will be the best choice for our nation. Okay, shall we just uh, make it to endorse uh, Peter Ogi by Islamic clerics here in not only in Kano, in the northern part of Nigeria. There is no religion in politics. We are just focused on integrity and accountability. So all of these characters, all these good behaviors, is His Excellency Peter Obi of Labour Party. He is the one of the all of the presidential candidates that has it so that that is why we islamic preachers we know the east we know the east, we are here to solidarity and endorse to defeat or be as a president federal of federal republic of nigeria in this coming election 2023 mr peter obi and dati ame these are two personalities that have created wealth from the scratch they know what it means to build from nothing you know and that is what they want to come and do for the nigerian people remember mr peter obi said he's just focused on building a new nigeria that is just his focus he does not want any distraction what he wants is just to build a new nigeria so guys this is what we want this is what we want nigeria is going to be great again nigeria is going to be great again for we all know that a new nigeria is possible please don't forget to subscribe to my channel turn on the notification bell give this video a like and let me know what you think in the comment section below thank you and god bless you bye